Show off your robot to thousands on the front page of Twitch. Submit your robot reveal video to Fun Premiere Night by going to tinyurl.com forward slash fun2019 info to learn more. So Christine would like to know, uh, has 254 agreed to name their robot Gino Brino this year? And if not, what action will 195 take to ensure this actually happens? <laughs> I, I don't know. I've, we've had some discussions back and forth <laughs> with... Uh, uh, the uh, cheesy puffs, or, or a particular person on the cheesy puffs. So, um, <laughs> it'd be interesting to have a robot named after me. I, I guess I don't know, but uh, <laughs> hopefully he uh, has some dental tools in his hands as well. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. The question about uh, the question about who or what would we do to make sure that happens? Speaking on behalf of the students, anything possible. We would literally do anything to make that be achievable. All right. There you go. Two fifty four balls in your court. Uh, all right, on a more serious note, uh, I think it's Ishano45. Uh, they were asking, how do the tablets communicate with each other? I would assume this is about scouting. So maybe you guys can talk about like the technical side of that, if anyone knows. Um, I don't know enough about it, but the I know that each, I think each tablet gets, down, they, they either download it on a, um, a little you know, thumb tab and then they just hand it over to one of the students that has the database and it just gets downloaded every match. Okay. I, I, there, I know at one time they were doing networking as well. They had a little network going on, on, on the, uh, in the stands, but as long as I get the data, I, I don't really get into how they're doing it. Yeah. All right. And then we've got a couple questions that kind of are related. Uh, will the most and inkling six, uh, both kind of asking this is more specifically about your actual robot this year. Uh, one of them said, wait, did I just see a three robot level three climb? And the other one is saying, are you having a 36 point end game? So is cat out of the bag? Are you, you going for the 36 pointer? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that, won't we? I guess so. <laughs> uh, can, let's can see. You, just to jump in, actually, can you guys, so in your, I think what people are referring to is the, uh, one of the videos that we showed, uh, there seemed to be some sort of prototype or something like that. So can you shed any, shed any light on that at all for us? I mean, uh, we were talking about it before. Uh, prototyping is obviously the main aspect of what we're doing these couple weeks. So that method, you know, who knows? We're going to leave the mystery aspect there to whether or not that might be something that goes on. But up to this point, we're still looking at whatever we can. There it is. Yeah. Up to this point, we're still looking at whatever we can as our best possible method. If we could go for that 36 points in the end, obviously, given the chance to do so, we'd love to. But uh, whatever works out best is probably we're going to be going with, and that definitely is a possible contender for that. Yeah, that video was some some 148 robot wrangler looking looking stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, Kate Bailey says just turn your laptop around and we'll be able to see it. So you know, <laughs> yeah, if you, if, you, if you want to. <laughs> who's uh, Bailey? Let's see. Yeah, who's Bailey? What a weirdo. <laughs> Is uh, is 195 going to be using any sparks or any uh, sparks or uh, neos this year, Gino? Hey, you know, to, that's a good question because uh, we we really went back and forth a lot. Um, I, I ordered them way back in November when they came out. I, I jumped the gun and I and I ordered like twenty right away without even <laughs> listening to them about them. And then uh, the the, uh, the early testing was a little scary, but we now. Um, there's some, you know, some good updates that came out, and we've decided that that's what we're going to use for our drivetrain, and right. uh, we might even use it in uh, other areas of the robot as well. But uh, I, I'm pretty excited to see Neos on the robot this year, and um, you know, it, it, they they look like they're much stronger, and the weight gain is is just you know, immensable at the it, immense at this time. All right, and then. Let's see. Moving on to some of our uh, other questions submitted in the chat. Uh, Smith K twenty seven hundred asks, "What is your view on competing at the Central New York Regional, being that it is your first twenty nineteen competition?" Um, we're really excited to, to go there. Um, the you know, just because we don't always do regionals, it's pro probably about every other year we'll do a regional, and um, the. Uh, Central New York is, it's going to be some overlap with what we've seen in Tech Valley, but uh, it's, it again, it's great to be playing early on in the season with teams from different areas of the, the country. I think they got some 
out of the country coming there. They got some Canadian teams there. And, uh, you know, the we're hoping at that point to have our, our robot should be very, you know, well tuned by the time we get to uh, Utica being it's a week three event. Yeah. You guys excited to go to a regional? I know you students, you don't know what the regional life is like, so. Yeah. It's definitely um, going to be interesting uh, variation from the usual, you know, yeah. as Gina was saying before. Yeah. All right. Uh, next question comes from Sir Print a lot, and they're asking, how often do you guys meet during build season, and how do your meetings typically function? So. Every day. <laughs> Every day. So yeah. That- so our build and like programming teams meet every day. And then on Wednesday, we have a weekly meeting, and that's required for everyone on the team to come. Okay. Basically, we live here. <laughs> I, I can relate. <laughs> so, so Matt and Kate, how often are you guys actually in shop typically? Yeah. I'm in shop about every day. Okay. And then uh, since I'm more of the programming aspect, they um, – you know, for the first initial weeks, like they were saying, I still drop in, but not as often. And then once the time comes around where it finally picks up where we have something we can work with as a base when it comes to programming, that's when I really kind of step in and I'm there every day also. All right. Uh, the next question I think is going to be just for the students, although I suppose Gino can can give his answer as well. Uh, this is from Chinese is Asian. Interesting name. Uh their question is who they think the coolest mentor on the team is. Probably. Oh, jeez. So just keep They're trying it. to sabotage us, Gino. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to pick me. I, I know I'm cool. Just pick someone else, all right? <laughs> all right, all right. Don't leave me off of this. <laughs> uh, I Listen, I know what they want me to say. And Kate, I know you know what they want me to say, too. Alan Jagos, Alan Fuegos, the man. You you got to go for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with our actual programming mentor, even though I'm not on the programming sub team. Oh, he geez. is. I know. <laughs> you didn't yeah. pick your own mentor, but his name is Rob Hilton, and he's one of the nicest guys that I've met on our team. And he's just a nice guy, and he'll help out with everyone. Yeah, I chose the popular vote. Bad move, Rob. Love you, man. Please don't <laughs> kick me off of programming. <laughs> I'm glad nobody said Bailey. We would have had to end the Oscar. Yeah, so, we, yeah. So happy. Oh, I think hear Bailey. That. Bailey was the only one in the chat that said Bailey. So you know. Yeah, you lose Bailey. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. Another more serious question. All of it. I think this is somebody from your team. Uh. Jan asks, how much time is spent on CAD? <laughs> There, we didn't let him out of the room tonight. How do you like that? <laughs> That's how much time we spend on CAD. Um, yeah, they, they've been CADing pretty much since, uh, I would say, the the middle of uh, week two. And they've been in that room every day, um, CADing the robot. And uh, we're hoping to uh, have it done, hopefully, by the end of this week. We're on the last few, tying up the last few loose ends on the, getting the systems to to fit within each other and not um smash each other uh, up um, along the way is there anything on the robot you guys like don't actually care that you'll just kind of do after the fact or do you guys like make sure you design everything all the way through um the first time the we do design everything all the way through the first time um every once in a while we you know uh, in the past with the the climbers like in 2016 uh, we kind of had an idea what we wanted to do, but it wasn't in CAD yet, saying we were going to do it. And we kind of saved it till the end because we, in some competitions, we knew we weren't going to climb right away. Um, I think that was 2016. We we basically didn't plan on climbing until I think our second event, second or third. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and I think our last question for the night is going to come to us from Oro Drurth. I think. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, they ask, "Do you did you have any experience programming with the Spark Max? And if so, how do- difficult was it to program? Uh, so maybe this would be a good one for Matt. All right. <clears throat> so I cannot speak uh, from first-person experience here. I didn't actually... I looked 
I looked on as Rob was trying to go in with everything there, and it was a long and rigorous process, but you know Rob, he's amazing, and he's, he's worked through it. If he's not still working through it, he's definitely gotten some taken care of, and he's, you know, just another beast that's been tackled by him. <laughs> the, uh, they, they have worked a lot with the, the Rev, uh, with the Spark Max, um, the, uh, I think, like I said, we Rob Rob was working a lot with, um, I guess, the motion profiling aspect. I mean, I'm the wrong one to ask on that. And he just <laughs> he was in the room till like half an hour ago. Too bad. Um, but the from what I've seen it working on our we put the uh, the neos and our and the sparks on our last year's practice robot. Mm -hmm. And from what I saw the other night, it, it is. They just are amazing, and, and I really think that it's going to be the way to go this year. Um, they're going to give you a, a definitely a big plus. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.